ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and random drunken people that have stumbled across this YouTube video. I am Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to a Rome 2 campaign with Macadon. So, I'm going to put a timestamp on the screen right now. If you want to skip my little intro here at the loading screen, then if you click on the link, it'll send you to the point in the video where I go straight to the campaign map and the campaign begins. But for those of you that stick around, I've got a few things to discuss before we start. Um, this has been my first uh, Rome 2 Let's Play since well, since the Egypt campaign really. I, I did start off with with the Carthage campaign back when the game was released and another Carthage ca campaign followed a couple of months down the line. I also did a Sparta campaign as well and the problem is most of those campaigns, uh, well actually all of the campaigns, they weren't finished and the reason being was the game files got corrupted um, I had problems with the mods or with the patches that were updated and it, you know it, I always felt like there was something missing from this channel because of it and I've had the motivation now to go and do a new campaign. I'm going to be playing this on very hard. I have done a few on Legendary or tried Legendary before and the problem is with Legendary, with the mods, with patching, because we don't quite know yet if there is going to be any more. Even if it's only a quick patch, a, qu a small patch update, we don't know yet. And I don't want to risk anything you know, going wrong again like it has in the past. So I'm going to play this safe on very hard difficulty and that, that way I can back up my save files much easier than I can on Legendary. I don't think there's too much difference really between the two difficulties apart from some of the uh, buffs and the stats that the AI does gain. And yeah, um, this is actually the first time I'm going to be playing on Emperor Edition as well. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this little part here. Um, all I think that is left to say is if you enjoy this series, it would mean a lot to me if you could leave a like. And I shall see you all on the campaign map. Hello and welcome to the campaign map. So, the very first thing that I'm going to do with Macedon, or Macedon is get the technology going. I want logistics important that we get that straight away. Diplomacy, we're going to go and have a look at the diplomacy screen and as we can see Bithynia and the Tribali tribe actually are friendly so we're going to try and get some non-aggression pacts and some trade. Oh, well. Can't get the trade, we'll try a non-aggression pact with Bithynia which we have, excellent. Then maybe trade, that's moderate so that's a good chance of happening. See if we can get some money out of them though. Maybe not. Okay, we'll try the trade. Oh, they want money, okay. Forget that. I don't want to really pay factions money, especially early in the campaign. Don't really see the point. I don't think it's worth it. Right, the Trevali non-aggression pact is actually high. Trade is high, so that's good. They might pay me, so 500 is moderate and 1,000 is low. So 500 is a possibility. So we will try and get that off them. And it's been accepted. So we have 500 additional denarii now this turn. Which will help us out. Maybe recruit a unit or two with that. Um, RDI. See if we can get something with RDI. Non-aggression is high. And trade is high. And again we'll try some payments. So it's a moderate chance with 500 denarii. And it's been accepted. So another 500 there. Excellent. A couple of trade partners early on is always useful. I think that's all we can do for this diplomacy part. So as you can see now, we have 5,000 rather than 400. And we're going to use it wisely. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the objectives. And I think it's here. Yeah. Ships of war maintain five naval units. We already have four. So with our money that I just um, gained, I'm going to recruit to the cheapest ship possible which is 370 denarii Assembling the and we'll, we'll ha then have five ships which we can maintain and we can get that extra thousand denarii I'm going to be sp sending my spy Alexandra towards Anthea because we're going to actually aim for Tylus early in this campaign hopefully in this first part we can take Tylus this army here the Harpy's Claws we're going to be recruiting some additional units of hoplites, Sign three of them, I'm going to get three citizen cav, two turns to get them, the best cavalry and the best infantry that we can have at this point is what we're going to be aiming for, and we still have over a thousand to spend which is good, we can still, um, well we can't actually upgrade anything at the moment but we might Commander. later on, the gods of war, we can get some slingers, um, is it worth it at the moment? 
or is it better to keep my money? Um, I think I think we could probably do with two slingers, and we we'll keep the 520 denarii. I think that's pretty much all we want. Athens is a client state of mind. They are unhappy with me. It's important that I keep an eye early on in this campaign on what's going on in the Peloponnesian area. As we know, Epirus has Apollonia and Larissa. I would love to come down here and take them and have the whole province of Macedonia, but at the moment I think it's important that I take out Tylus because if they are allowed to grow, if they take Odessos, for example, then they could be a real thorn in my backside, so it's important that I do well early on against them. I think now, though, we can end the turn. We're going to have over 2,000 next turn, which is good. Actually, no, wait, before we do that, let's, uh, uh, let's see, where are we? Trade and finance. If it goes up, 280. Tax effect, minus 12, minus 1. I'll do it for a turn. We can have the tax up for a turn. I know it's not a great leap in income, but it could recruit an extra unit or two, and that is important in campaigns like this. The extra unit could come in handy, and it could mean the difference between victory and defeat. And this is actually the first time I've played with the Emperor Edition since, since the Emperor Edition has been released. I haven't really been playing Rome 2. For the past few months, I've been concentrating on other games. Oh, what do we have? The, now, so the Tribali are offering military access for me. But they actually want money, which I don't want to give them. How about some... Well, we already got trade with these. Take away the payments, and I think you can probably have it. Okay, I think that's fair. Greedy bastards. Right. Next up is to move my ship, check the objectives, so yeah we have a tick by that now, reward 1000, which is, we've, as you can see we've received, we have over 3000 this turn, now going to move the ships close to where we're aiming to go towards, Pulpa Dave, where we now have our additional units, problem is in Pulpa Dave I don't really have decent units that I can recruit, these are crap to be honest with you, and it's important that I'm quick off the mark to get here to Anthea because they could build up a very decent stack if I leave it too long. So we're going to bring my spy forward now. And he's actually going to be attacking the unit this year. Military sabotage. We're going to try and go for a poison provision, I think. Ooh, only 46% positive outcome. 28% or 43. Don't like that, actually. And it's even less with these. What if I attack the garrison? 53%. Okay, we'll go for the garrison because we've got a higher chance. And it's failed. It's a shame. Damn it. At least my spy wasn't caught, so there is some positive news there. I'm going to keep my general in here in case they do attack me this turn. My ships will go there in, I think it'll take two turns. Two turns time to get there. This will take probably two turns to get there as well. So in about two turns time I can launch my attack. I've got over 3,000 I can spend this turn. I could upgrade Paler, which I don't think I need to at the moment. Pulpit Daver on the other hand, it probably is worth upgrading. Get more growth. Yeah, we'll do that. And then trade and finance. I'll drop it back down. We don't get any growth. Public order still minus five. Just look in the jump. We'll keep it up like it is for now. Don't really see the need to worry about um, losing income. Or losing the uh, public order, rather. And I have four slingers here altogether. Actually, no. We've only got 434 remaining this turn. Um. Yeah, we'll get another Slinger unit, and I think we can probably end turn, just double check. I haven't missed anything out. Bithynia, trade is high, so we can get trade with Bithynia. I want to get money though, that's what I want. 500 is moderate, and 1000 is low, like I expected. I wish I could put my own custom value in, like I can Shogun too. 
Okay, so they will they will offer me 360 for a defensive alliance. Remove that. I demand 360 for a trade agreement. How about that? There we go. That's all I wanted. I, I don't want a defensive alliance, but having that trade will help. I think we discovered another faction as well. Let's see. Pergamon, I think we discovered. Where are they? Pergamon. They are neutral. That's fine. Tylus are the ones that hate us the most. Then it's Sparta and Egypt. I think we're okay, though. Right, we'll end turn. Another end turn. And we'll see how we do now in this end turn phase. I wouldn't mind it if um, Tylus come out and attack me, because I can defeat them easily at my own settlement, but I actually have to go to the settlement to attack them. You know, that might mean that I lose more men than I want to. Okay, so we got 10 units here, the Harpy's Claws. Some decent units all together. We're now going to move the Harpy's Claws into my territory up here. And we're going to actually go for the enable, enable the building of workshop. I think we'll go for that to begin with. Actually, no. We want to go for tactical drills because that gives us plus two melee and uh, attack and defense, plus a charge bonus. That, in this stage of the campaign, when you're playing against these local tribes, is invaluable. Believe me. That will help us tremendously in the long run. Let's see if we can use my spy now. Oh shit, they got their own spy as well, I have to watch out. Military sabotage, 46% still. The skills are yours. 33 if I do the wells. Oh my god. We'll go for the unit in that case. Military sabotage. Fingers crossed. Successful, excellent. Excellent. And an increase in rank for Alexandra, my spy. And we're going to go for critical success in all actions, so plus one to authority. And could we attack them this turn? We can't attack them this turn, I don't think. I could lay an ambush, perhaps. Maybe. Uh, I'm just looking to see where's the best place to go. Could come up right here. Your next command. And then we'll go into an ambush Lay stance. An ambush, Ready for orders. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So if they do c c happen to come towards Popodiva, then they're going to get ambushed. Spy has attacked them here, so they now have lost some men. And my spy's increased, which gives me a better chance next turn to do the same. I'm trying to think. Ready for battle. I can actually still recruit, because I'm an, in my border by here, so I'm actually going to do that. Because I have money to spend, and... We want to get more hoplites. I think Soldiery. three more would be fantastic. At your command. I think that'll be okay for this turn. So we'll end turn. Another end turn phase. I think next turn we can probably attack them. My ship is now moving into position as well to support. Making sure I launch a very good and strong offensive at the start of this game. I have to keep an eye on Epirus and Athens as well and Sparta in case that they do decide to betray me. Let's have a quick look. Athens has actually taken Larissa, which um, I'm disappointed with actually because I would have preferred her if Epirus had stayed longer because Athens is a much tougher opponent than Epirus. It looks like Epirus will be wiped out probably in the next turn or two, so nothing to worry about really. Not at the moment, we can come back to that afterwards in the campaign. And now we can come out of normal, go back to normal stance. We can't get there this turn. Neither of them can get there this turn. Uh, just looking to see where the best places are to lay ambushes. Uh, not there. 25%. I don't want to be forcing myself into a vulnerable situation. I do need to move closer though, so. Maybe if I just drop onto the land there. Make haste, men. Commander. We have to move that close just to just to support. We have six units of hoplites. Plus my general. I think 
yes, my character has some kind of effect on him with the white bars around him, so uh can't use him effectively this turn, I don't think. Instead we're gonna move him up to the light forest here. I'm gonna put you into an ambush in case they do get past me. I was doing this so I can defend my, my kind of land. I might use my spy again, they have actually recruited a lot more men. Sabotage, fingers crossed. Another sabotage would be nice. Oh damn it, it failed this time. Could get some more ships maybe. Might actually help me. What do we have? Greek Onager. That would probably be useful. Takes me a turn. Let's get two of them. We can always disband them later if we don't need them. Detect Diplomacy as well. Athens is actually happier towards us now, so we'll see if we can get some trade with them. It's low. Okay, fair enough. Let's click end turn. I think we checked everything we needed to check that time. I will pay closer attention to my family as well um, in a few turns time. Sparta wants me to join against Epirus. Which isn't a bad offer because Epirus is down to its last province anyway, and everyone hates Epirus at the start of the campaign. But I would like to have some cash, so could they give me 500? Propose? No. Okay, fair enough. I don't want to do nothing for free. I don't want to be taken advantage of by other factions. I want to actually try and gain and squeeze as much money as I can because that money is useful. Like right now, Pergamon is offering non aggression pack and money. That's a very good offer, so I'll accept. I have no need to go toward Pergamon at the moment, and getting the money from them is helpful. Hidden agent exposed, ship rights report, uh, household is expanded as well, plus five chance of successfully landing an ambush. That's good. Order clear between Pergamon and Tylus. Ah, so Pergamon's actually joined the war with Tylus. That's good. Pergamon's only down by here as well. They could actually help me out, perhaps. And I think we are going to use my spy once more. Let's see. We can actually attack them this turn. Let's get into normal stance. This one can support as well. Right, what we're going to do is this. We're going to get my spy. My spy is going to attack the wandering warriors. We're going to do a military sabotage once more. Poison provisions. And hopefully we can have success. Failed. Oh, so irritating. My spy is useless. Doesn't matter. We're going to attack them anyway. The gods of war is going to attack. We're going to encircle them. Hire mercenaries. Now we have Tarantine Cavalry and we have Thracian Cavalry. Let's see. Missile damage 32, 32. Range is rate 80. Uh, Tarantine's much better. We get two Tarantines. Mercenary Hoplites. We can get some Thracian Warriors, maybe. Thracian Peltas got better morale. And that will do for them. And then we're going to support by bringing that unit up. And then we're going to bring the Tridents of Poseidon to attack them there as well. Got them surrounded. And we are now going to assault them. So I shall see you all on the battlefield. Hello everyone and welcome to the battlefield. We shall begin immediately. And we are going to attack their ships immediately as well. Get over there and destroy as many of them as they can. They do have a general which you can take out as well. Do a pretty good job on their ships. My army's coming into the battlefield now on this side. They're all going to be camped in the center. Oh, they're over here actually. Marching in right now. And they're up here at the top of the screen. It might be worth trying to take them on. Early in the camp in the battle, but for now we're going to concentrate on the naval battle. Get their ships defeated. Attack, you sons of Ares! Attack, you sons of Ares! Two ships for that one. Two ships for that one. My two onagers are going to actually fight their general. Here, and my general. Rain death on them. 
Wish we could start taking more of them out than what we are doing right now. Go on, throw your spears. Throw your spears, men. Take them out, come on. Shit. Oh, I'll jump off the boat for God's sake. Might have to manually do this now. Shit, we're losing. Oh, you bastards. Sons of Ares. Taking some of them out, I think. Oh my god, this is terrible. Right, let's just get control of the ship. I'll show them how it's done. That's how it's done. We shoot them like that. Lost two ships. And we're going to lose the rest right here, I think. Salt ships jumping in there. Artillery ships ready. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's crap. That was terrible. Ah, Ain't about the same. It's better. Can you hold them? I wanted. That's what I wanted. Fire on enemy ships. Take out these tribesmen. Oh, very good as well. Fine shooting, sir. Fine shooting. And again. Oh, excellent. I wanted. Let's get them both on the ship that's coming towards us. Fine target indeed. Oh, excellent. Come on, come back please. Come back please. Close range. And again. Oh, what's happened? Oh, it's because they're going to board me, is it? Is it because they're going to board me? I don't know. I was going to keep battling them from close range, I think. Seems to work in my favour, I think. I think they're gonna jump. There they go. That worked excellent. Took him out from close range. Oh my god. Whoa, you shoot my own ship, you fool. I think my ship's glitching out a little bit. Unfortunately. I'm now gonna try and aim. We've got plenty of ammunition left, so we're gonna try and aim. Them. Oh, that's a good shot. I think manually is better for me. I'm just going to check. And oh, my goodness, they're actually coming towards me. I haven't even concentrated on this part of the battle yet. Okay, what we're going to do is group up all the missiles that I have at my disposal. Let's give them a group. We're going to fight them here, I think. All my hoplite units. They're going to be formed into ranks. Hoplites ready! Spear infantry ready! Hoplites! Spear infantry at your command! Grouped and awaiting orders! Trying to form up quickly, get some shape going. Citizen cavalry! Get my cav. All my cav, get that grouped. We're going to form up on the right sand's flank here, the right flank. With the cavalry, and then is there anything I've missed out? I think that's everything. Yeah, all units are moving. Let's get back to the naval warfare at the moment. Yes, we got them. Excellent. And we're bossing it with these two ships at the moment. General's gone. Excellent. Another good shot. I'm just going to take out the navy. Oh yes. No one gone, is it? I think they're gone. Yeah, they're gone there. Damn it. Gone there, I think. Maybe. I don't know. 
Please be gone. Please die. Yeah, okay, plenty of shots on them. Close range. Disappointed I lost more ships than I wanted to. I think they're gone as well now. Are they gonna jump? Yeah, they're gone. Bye bye. All ships dealt with expertly. Well done. These two ships are now going to come along the coast and we're going to fire upon them. And the enemy's advancing towards me, being very aggressive. I love this with the AI. I haven't seen this in a while on this game. I need to group all my slingers actually. Uh, I think I've missed out two units of Peltasts. Where are they? Oh, they are on the front. That's okay. Um, let's put them in with group four. That's better. Decent range for my men. Let's get the Royal Peltas on automatic mode. Hoplites ready! Hoplites ready! Commander, ready. Hoplite wall. Hoplite wall. Time to utilize the cavalry. I'm also going to arch my hoplites there to not get out flanked too easily. Their horses are fucked. Cavalry's going to quickly swarm them. We're going to go around the back and take out the rest as well. My cavalry is going to play a big part in this battle, I think. Levy Freeman coming towards me right now. Take them in there. Take all the missiles now behind the line. is going to break rank and come forward. Lines holding relatively well. We are routing some of them as well. Cavalry is going to keep pushing forward now. Happy with how it's going so far. Poplites are very strong units. They definitely outmatch what we are up against. I'm actually going to push this hoplite unit or hoplite unit forward just to disrupt their skirmishes while they attack. This line can now be utilised as well. It's being used, not being used out on the left flank. It needs to be used. We're actually going to flank with this unit as well. And let's see if we can get some charges off onto my friends over here. Leave the freemen, they're not the issue at the moment. They are routed anyway, that's good. They're going to completely fold the enemy upon themselves. The hoplites are doing well, disrupting them, and now we're just going to charge everything. Go for the light horse there. Might be mass route them in a minute, minute now. We kill enough of them. Let the flanking begin. Get all my men to focus on one unit. Get these two warriors to charge out now. Break formation. They can go for the tribesmen. They can charge there. Quarantine cavalry can go for the tribesmen there. My ships. I don't think we can. We might be able to hit the men from here. I love using those damn war ships. I'm going to recruit some more ships, I think. They've got a good uh, impact on this battle, actually. Make sure all my hoplites are in formation. Get out and go. Attack them. Cavalry's doing extremely well against these light horse. Just pushing them back now. And of course we have some Tarantine Cavalry, which we can now utilise with a charge in the rear of the Levy Freeman. Break them here. Citizen cavalry. The skirmishes won't last too long against my cavalry. My warships are firing upon them Artillery from the shoreline. Supporting. Might get a few kills with them. Citizen cavalry. And there we go. 
where the magic happens. We're now going to grab these four Hoplite units. Debris Grant can charge forward. All my cavalry is going to charge in as well. All my missile troops are going to aim for their three men. We've pushed most of their units back. They don't have an awful lot remaining. Oh, swarm back here. Make it to take them out. Slingers. Slingers. Slingers and Thracian warriors. Let's have a look at the magic. Magic of the battlefield. We wipe them out. The units look fantastic, don't they? Uh, I'm using the uh, graphics enhancement mod, so it, it definitely has improved how the units look visually. And I think these guys are a toast. I think we're going to have our first win in this campaign. I think it was always going to be a win in this battle, though we outnumbered them so much that it would have been very unfortunate to have not won this battle. I'm just going to turn these units around so they don't fire on my own men. I'm just going to charge everything now. Control A, Control G, attack. Basically they all run around to the nearest unit and take them out. And I'm going to manually finish this battle off with these ships. Try and get a few kills if possible. That's over hit. Unfortunately. Let's try... Better hike, maybe? No, nope, probably not. And this battle's gone very well. Much better than I had hoped. Lost quite a few cavalry units, but they played their purpose well in this battle. Ministry Dacian Bowmen, they're shaken. Celtic Slingers are shaken. Swift riders at your command. Cavalry to wipe them out. Citizen cavalry. Companion cavalry. Pick up the skirmishers there. I think they've all gone now. Looks like it. Nope, they've got one unit remaining here. Oath Sworn. Obviously they're a decent unit, Oath Sworn. We're gonna quickly envelop them though. Send some hoplite units around the back. Speed this battle up as well. Oh, we're actually losing a unit of hoplites there. But now we just charge him with everything. <laughs> That's one way to deal with him. And there they go, they're going to go, of course. We're back to normal speed. Oh, and we've won the battle. There we go, so we'll end the battle there. A close victory. Deployed 4,000 men compared to 3,713. Battle duration 14 minutes 30. We lost 1,417, they lost well, pretty much everything. And those warships, they actually done a very good job, as you can see. 95 kills, 81 kills, and most of them were manually done by me. So I'm quite pleased with them. I might actually recruit one or two more. A strong navy might be useful early in this campaign. Honourable death, though, so I, I did lose a general. And Tylus have been defeated. Occupy. And we will... To get Royal Peltas, I think they're very good. We'll get them. Thylus, of course, is still around. They are still alive, but we can probably chase them down with some units. Put my general in here for now. Public order is quite bad at the moment, so it's important that we improve upon that. Um, not get any money next turn. We need to get rid of some of the mercenaries, I think. So um, probably the cavalry, expand cavalry. I'm going to keep the Peltas just for the another turn or two. Oh, we've got Hoplites as well. Get rid of the Hoplites there. I'll keep the two units of Peltas in case um, they do attack me. But I think I can, actually, no, I think I can probably delete them. Disband them. Just taking up valuable money which could be used elsewhere. And now going to go on to my train finance and bring this down. That will help public order, I think. Or it will do it in the long term. I have to convert these buildings next turn as well. But I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of the Macadon campaign. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.